Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to do a practice problem that tests both your knowledge of various account types and your knowledge of the accounting equation. So let's take a look. Given the following, determine the value of accounts payable. So notice accounts payable is sitting here with a question mark next to it, and you have a collection of other accounts, all with valuations. So you need to figure out one, how does the value of accounts rela payable relate to the value of everything else in order to determine how you're gonna calculate accounts payable? Two, you're gonna have to figure out how to classify each of these accounts in order to um, go through the motions of calculating accounts payable. So two pieces to this, um, take a moment, pause the video, see if you can kind of figure out what is it that you need to do. I kind of give it away with the title. Remember, you're focused on account types and the accounting equation. See if you can put those two things together to figure out the value of accounts payable. And when you're done, come back, check your answer. All right, welcome back. So um, this one's a tough one if you're just getting started in accounting, but um, let's figure it out. So accounts payable. Well, <clears throat> first of all, how does it relate to everything else? This comes to the accounting equation or sometimes referred to as the balance sheet equation. Remember that A equals L plus SE. Assets equals liability plus shareholders equity. And accounts payable, that word payable, tells us we owe someone money or this is a liability. So accounts payable is part of this L, all right? Now, how are we gonna figure out what accounts payable is worth? Well, we have an equation here, A equals L plus SE. And so if we can figure out the other components of the equation, then we can solve for our question mark, our missing number. It's basically an algebraic approach to solving an accounting problem. Now, of course, to classify everything in here as A, L, or S, E, we have to go through the accounts and decide where does each one fit. So let's start with cash. Cash is something you own, a value that's an asset. Sales revenue. Sales revenue is not an asset, liability, or equity. Sales revenue is a revenue that goes on the income statement. Common stock is part of your shareholder's equity. All stocks fall under shareholder's equity. Notes payable, again, that word payable gives it away, liability. Equipment, something you own that has value, that's an asset. Inventory, something else you own with value, that's an asset. Interest expense gives itself away, that's an expense that goes on the income statement, that's not part of AL and SE. Retained earnings, retained earnings belong to the shareholders, so that's part of stockholders' equity. And then gain on sale. Gain is just another word um, representing a revenue. It's just a special type of revenue. Um, and so that goes on the income statement as well. That's not part of AL or SE. So right out the gate, we can say, okay, well, these income statement items, sales revenue, interest expense, and gain on sale, we can take those out of the mix. Now we just have to put the other values where they go. So under assets, We've got 190 for cash, right? We've got 175 for equipment. We've got 345 for the inventory. And if we total all that up, that comes out to $710,000. Under liabilities, we have 100,000 for the notes payable. And of course, we have our question mark that we're trying to solve for. So this totals up to 100,000 plus question mark, because we don't know what that question mark is yet. And then we have shareholders equity. And under shareholders equity, we only have two items. We have the common stock at $350,000. And then we have the retained earnings at $60,000. And those total up to be $410,000. Now check out our equation below. 710 equals 100 plus question mark plus 410. We can easily solve for the question mark at this point, right? So 710 equals question mark plus 510, and therefore question mark equals $200,000. And that is going to be the value of our accounts payable. Following classifying each account into its account type and applying the basic accounting equation. 
All right, that was probably a tough one for beginners, um, but hopefully you did all right, or hopefully you at least now understand, right? It's okay to, 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 to get it wrong as long as once you see how it's done, you understand, and then you're able to apply going forward. All right, that's it for this one. Hope you join me for another.